mascara, mascara. Yes, um, overrated in my view. That's, what do I know? I know nothing. But in my, I am the authority of my own experience. And my experience is this, that the eyelash is one of the finer aspects of the outer, you know, who knows what's going on inside, but um, I'm no doctor, but uh, of the outer, there are many points of interest, the cuticles and the, 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 the flesh and all sorts of things and the eyeball. That's the most, it's the, it's the sweetest leftover from your infancy and childhood. It's the sweetest, most naive, beautifully colored, beautiful, beautiful. Look at Sissy Spacek in Badlands. Look at Tilda Swinton in uh, Orlando. So beautiful. But I'm just talking about for my taste and so-called real life. Don't put on a, don't put on a, uh, a toupee, a, a eyelash toupee, and certainly a merkin, you know, eyelash merkin, and certainly, you know, don't, this, these globs that the industry, I'm sure, have gotten together and, and conspired to say, we could sell a billion, billions of dollars if we convince all these ladies that they can't even leave the house without looking like a baby doll. They must look like baby dolls because their eyeballs have to pop. Tell them they gotta pop. Now, this is too much information. I'm, I'm revealing too much fetishistic sensibility about myself, so I'll stop right there. But suffice it to say that a uh, mascara is overrated. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Acid. Acid. Well, I don't want you to have a bad trip, you know. You know, you take that acid and you might get too scared. It's a scary movie. There's that. So you know, you would have to know yourself better. Myself, as for myself, I, I wouldn't do it at this point um, because my experience with the psychedelics uh, is, goes like this. In, when I was 20, in 1971, I took mescaline three times, and it was a, I had a grand time on that every time I saw, I saw um, Fellini's Satyricon with a group of people, and, uh, and I think I was a double bill with, um, with the Beatles movie, you know, um, Yellow Submarine, yeah. Oh boy, oh, I was into it. It was a good experience, so this is the answer to your question. Then I took acid once. Uh, that same same year, I was in Brooklyn with a bunch of people. They were playing uh, the Rolling Stones album, uh, Let It Bleed, was on. And I was playing a big conga drum in this little apartment. And, uh, and i just taken this thing, and I waited a minute, was playing it, listening to the thing. I thought, well, this is nothing. I, maybe nothing happens. By the end of the song, <clears throat> I was not like I was on the masculine. Uh, I'd forgotten what I'd t that any that there had been a substance of some kind. Everything was just now different. Nor did I know how to. I was high. I guess I was very high and kind of pathetically high. The uh, the uh, girlfriend of the guy whose house it was was not had not taken anything. She came out and offered us some pizza, and she put a piece of pizza in my hand. And I went. And I watched it fall on the floor. And then she went, oh, uh, Jeff. Uh, and I went, no, no. And then I took some money out and I offered her money. She said, no, 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 that's okay. That's good. I guess I was very high. Anyway, that's it. But uh, since then, I'm sort of strictly these days, um, as is. I come as is. So having told that those provocative stories about my youthful adventuresomeness, I can now hold my head up and say, you know, but you know, I'm not giving advice, do whatever you want, you know. Okay, we're getting into something, the, the, the taboo of incest, I think we're exploring, yes. Well, what's the whole question? The whole question is, if you have an attractive cousin, should they be off limits uh, romantically? Well, that's a very interesting subject. I don't know. As a culture, I'm no anthropological professor. But in different cultures uh, and in different states, even now in these United States, I think there are different norms and acceptances and conventions. Um, but, oh, I do tell you this. I have an interesting bit of personal experience with this. In that, the legend has it that my great-grandparents 
were first cousins. So I myself have made, uh, made out of, if this is true, you know, the stuff which, uh, you know, explains a lot of my, you know, behavior. Hot tubs. Eh, overrated. Uh, overrated. I like a hot bath. I like dunking my pink and white body in yon Roman tub. Oh, it's lovely. Ah, ah, getting in that hot waters. Oh, I just gave myself a chill. Oh, now I'm thinking back. Now that I'm thinking out loud, I had an experience or two, well, one that I'm thinking of in a hot tub that was sweet. Thank <laughs> you.